Welcome to this video. Today we'll be discussing draft sites revision tables, which allow you to quickly mark up and document your drawings revisions in a preset table format. In the revision table section of the toolbox tab in the ribbon, the insert table icon is located. When selected, you'll first be prompted to specify your top left insertion point otherwise known as the position of the upper left corner of your table. You can select this point by single clicking on your preferred location in the graphics display. Next, you'll be given the option to either add revisions now or wait until later. If you specify no, only the header and columns of your revision table will appear in your drawing window. That said, the default for this instruction is yes. So press enter when prompted if you want to add revisions right away. This will open an add revisions window where you'll enter the necessary identification information for your drawings alterations, including their zone, revision number, date, description, and approval status. Once you're satisfied with your entered information, press okay and your personalized revision table will instantly appear. In doing so, a corresponding revision symbol will be attached to your cursor, allowing you to signify that revision's locations in your drawing. You can duplicate as many symbols for that revision as you'd like. Just press enter or escape to exit the command when you're ready. If you decide you want to add more revision symbols after you've exited, just select the insert revision symbol icon in the ribbon to reactivate the command. Lastly, press the Insert Revision icon to add new revisions to your table. Upon selection, you'll be prompted to insert the same information you entered for your first revision. And as always, press OK when you've entered your data. So try this out for yourself to do more with your DraftSite experience. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSite.com.